What's going on YouTube? My name is Matt Pow and today we're going to be unboxing the Neo Ruler. This smart ruler goes for $129 and is made by the people at Hozo Design. So I ended up backing them on Kickstarter and went with a lot of other accessories as well. Here we got a caliper kit for $49. Here's a drafting kit for $19. And here's a reading kit that goes for $19 as well. And finally, I got the Neo Collection case for 59 bucks. Since I backed them on Kickstarter though, I definitely got it for a cheaper price. But these are the prices you can see on their website. Now let's open these up and take a closer look. So we got a few things in here. Here's the manual, a USB-C cable, and the ruler itself. What's unique about this ruler is its customizable scales, units, and 0.1 millimeter resolution. Alright, so my first impressions while holding this, it's got a really premium feel to it. I really love the space gray aesthetic it has to it. I do see a few scuff marks on it though, but as long as its functionality works, we're good. Here we got three buttons, and on the side it says modular digital scale ruler. And on the back it says it's got a thousand milliamp hour battery. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Whoa. Okay, that's a pretty cool feature. Those LEDs light up throughout the ruler right here. And on the right, it's got an LCD display. The ruler is actually made from a 316 steel. It's got a stainless steel blade and an aluminum frame. Alright, so right now it's telling me to calibrate the ruler, so I think we'll get back to this and then unbox the rest of the stuff right now. Alright guys, so next up we got the Neo Ruler Collection Case. So you want to buy this when you buy the rest of the kits, like the caliper kit, the reading kit, and the drafting kit. But if you decide to go with just the ruler, you can buy the folio case for $29. So what I'm holding right now is the actual folio case. So instead of both of these parts right here, you can get just this case by itself. The case feels like it's made from a silicone material, and I think there's some magnets in here too. Let's take a look at the next thing. Alright, so here we got a modular accessory that's compatible with the Neo Ruler and holds up to three modules. And right off the bat, you could see that there's some printing errors right here. It looks like some residue. Alright, so for now, let's put this away in the case right here. Let's move this up and make some space. Now let's open up the caliper kit. So the caliper kit will come in this white box right here. Everything is nicely packaged. I do wish there was some sort of locking system here because all these pieces could easily fall off if I'm bringing this somewhere else. Like they already gave you this case. Might as well put a little locking system over here. Anyways, right here we have some pieces to install the caliper. Make sure you don't lose these. And some of the main pieces. Now we got the reading kit. This comes with two pieces, the piece that's already on the ruler and a magnifying piece, so you can easily read smaller details. And on the back of the box, it shows you how to remove and install the pieces. And now we got this drafting kit. Similarly, this comes with two pieces. You got a small and a large pen holder, 1.8 millimeters and one 1.2 millimeters. The Neo Collection case holds up to three modules. Right here, we got the magnifying piece and the two pen holding pieces. When you place them in the case, there's no way to tell that it's locked in here, so just try to seat them as properly as you can. And I'll quickly show you how to replace these pieces. It's actually pretty simple. Just push it straight up and it should pop right out. And then push the new one back in. You'll hear a little click when it's all the way in. Alright, let me put this piece back and let's pack this all up. So after placing everything in its proper spot, let's place the top flap of the collection case on the bottom flap of the folio case. The magnets will guide you. Oh, and we can't forget about this big spot. So here you can put your pen. This pen rotates between black and red ink and a lead pencil. And now we can close both of these cases. Start with the folio case, followed by the collection case. The magnets will help you keep this all closed in. But don't trust these magnets too much. They're strong, but you don't want to be waving this around and losing all these pieces. Because this may or may not have happened to me. But yeah, this is a very unique way of holding all this. Alright, so now we can get to the caliper installation. Oops, looks like this somehow got in here. Alright, let's put this to the side and get started. Alright, before we get started, let me open up this manual. By the way guys, hit that sub button so we can help this channel grow to 500 subs. I really just love buying the latest tech, and you probably do too. So I'm just letting you guys know that this is the channel to subscribe to if you want to keep up with that latest tech. But anyway, step 1, take off the current module. Next up, remove the two screws on the side of the LCD screen. Keep that piece somewhere safe so you can use it later. Also, make sure this piece doesn't slide off because you're going to need to use it. Alright, next up, take this piece that came with the caliper kit and install it. Make sure it's placed in all the way. Step 4. Take the removed screw from earlier and screw it back in. You'll only need one of the two screws. Now take the two smaller screws from the little bag and screw it in. Alright, step 6. Take this big piece right here, flip it over, and now unlock it. 
This will allow the top flap to move freely. Now for this next part, make sure this piece's pointed part faces downwards. It's the opposite direction of the USB-C port. And then tighten it. And now we can take this piece and attach it to the ruler. Insert the square part where the modules are attached to right into the caliper piece. Make sure it's in all the way or else you won't be able to close it. And finally we can flip it over and lock it back up. And now the caliper won't come off of the ruler. And now finally we can take this last screw that was in the small bag and screw it on. And there you guys go. Now it's all set for you to use. I do gotta mention though that this does feel a little bit stiff when you slide it. I'm hoping that it's just cause it's new. Alright so real quick, let me show you how to put this back in this box. And now let's put the rest of it away. And now we're ready to take these on the go. So before we do anything with this ruler, we gotta calibrate it. So let's start the calibration process. First we gotta select the mode we want, so for now we're gonna be using the ruler. And all you really gotta do is slide this all the way to the right, and all the way to the left. So on the display here, it doesn't really say to go to the right, but I just did it just in case. And that was the whole process right there. And now we can go through the ruler. So I'm still new to this, but the button presses are just something I have to get used to. So the first thing we see is where you go to measure things. Let's see if we calibrated this right. First off, let's bring this all the way to one inch. And here I have a regular ruler. And now let's line this up and see if it's good. And that my friends looks pretty damn accurate. Now let's do a quick little walkthrough. The top parts for the units. On the bottom here you can change the scale. It gives you a good amount of options here. I'll just keep it at a 1 to 1 scale. And that was the unit conversion section. And now let's switch to the smart scale section. So this functions as a customizable scale. This allows you to define your own scale. Here you start off by measuring the drawing length. And then you input the actual length. And once that's done, you'll create your own scale. Next up, we have the space divider function. I probably like this part the most. Here we can take any length and divide them up evenly. The awesome part is that the ruler will divide them up with these LEDs. Here we got five inches divided into five one inch sections. And now if we move this up to 10 divisions, it'll have half inch sections. And here are the LEDs to mark them up. And now we'll run through the last settings. Here you can change between energy modes. I'll be keeping it at performance. And here's where you can change your scales. And then the last part is some info. And now finally we can move on to the app. All right, so once you got the app open, go to settings and click connect to the device. So you don't have to do anything on the ruler, but just make sure it's on. And there it is on the screen. Anyway, so real quick, in the app you get different modes. You get photo mode. This is where you can write down the measurements on the app. And then we got drawing mode, where you just design the floor plan. This is list mode to write down your measurements for different items. And you can also import and export your files for your projects. And now that wraps up this tech unboxing. I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can continue to grow this channel. Peace.